I was not that prideful for the involved in cheerleading and you know, soccer. I really love soccer. I thought about keep on playing soccer and maybe get a scholarship and go to school and play. I was very involved in uh, different activities like debate and basketball and things like that. Castle is such a small town, you know, that everybody knew everybody and uh, you, you can just go and hang out and we used to play paintball and like video games and just hanging out in the country just going, you know, in the woods, hiking in the woods. And they wanted me to come up here and meet her and, you know, just kind of go and hang out on Halloween. And uh, I was like, you better not be pulling a fast one on me. You know, I'm going to, you know, you're going to get it when we get back to town. I met Garrett on Halloween. Um, uh, he had grown up with some friends that actually moved to my high school and they decided to come up for Halloween and go trick or treating with us, and they stayed there that night and hang out. I had a friend in high school who was actually a year younger than me, and she has a little girl, and she had gone to the Frank's Care Center, and so I texted her when I thought that I was pregnant, and she gave me the number and said, you had to call, and I could go there and get tests and find out if I was or not. I was really nervous actually, you know, going in there, but the people, when we got there, you know, they were very friendly and they weren't, you know, like looking down on us for it or whatever. They were just comforting and wanted to help us out. We were in the middle of actually talking to the mentor when the lady came in and she told us, you know, you're verified that, you know, you are pregnant and this is your due date. And they, you know, wrote her out a piece of paper and everything. And so she gave us the paper and we were sitting there looking at it and I noticed Anna starts crying, and uh, that was really just when it hit, just like, okay, this is it, you know, here we are. I was kind of scared, really the main thing, just scared of what I was going to do or who we were going to tell, you know. I mean, we were only 17, you know. It wasn't like we were adults and we were married and you know, we had planned to have a kid, so I was really scared of what I was going to do. I was, I didn't really know how, because, you know, senior year was pretty important, and so I, was, I didn't know how that would affect my senior year of high school, and so I was just kind of, a lot of uncertainty was there, definitely. Probably the first thing going to my mind is, how are we going to tell our parents? Um, you know, how, what are we going to say to them? How are we going to tell them? When are we going to tell them? It was just, it was a really hard time for everybody, and I remember, like, that feeling was probably the worst feeling that I had ever had just because it was, I felt like, you know, I had caused this, you know, it was my fault and I had ruined their daughter. And so, it was kind of hard for me. Um, we'd always grown up in church and knew that abortion wasn't right. And so we both, you know, I believe strongly in that, that abortion wasn't right. And that I knew it was going to be extremely hard. And I mean, I had several friends who had kids, you know, and they actually didn't have the dads in their life. I never really thought about leaving or not being in the picture, but every once in a while I did think, you know, what what would be different if, you know, how would this be different if this wouldn't have happened? What would my life be like if I wouldn't have made the choice to stay in the picture? I definitely think that um, the pregnancy system has got us to where we are now. And um, it, it did give me someone to talk to and um, to kind of help me along the way, help us to, um, you know, get the get what we needed to tell our family and to um, give us the support we needed to tell them and to strengthen us along the way. Max, the mentor, the friendship kids, and he was you know, the first guy that I got to talk to that encouraged me about it because none of my friends encouraged me and uh, none of my family. They were, everybody was kind of, you know, they weren't very supportive of you know, what we were about to, you know, have to go through. I definitely think it's a, it's a wonderful place to support. Um, it helped us, and I know it's helped many of other uh, young girls and moms and, you know, um, families. And I definitely think it'd be a wonderful place to support. To somebody that doesn't know much about the Tracy Care Center or what they do, um, it's definitely something that they should look into and it's wor definitely worth supporting because it touches so many lives. At 18, I never thought that I'd be a husband or a father for that matter, but it's more than anything that I could have ever asked for and I love it more than anything that I could ever be doing. Um, so I'm very happy with the choice that I made.